72 hours. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, um, they keep saying that I'm going to get them back after I do everything I have to do, but they're not telling me what I have to do. <laughs> so, I'm they lost. They didn't, I'm give just... you, they didn't give you a list of things that you need to, to do, like go through some type of treatment or do things at the house or I don't know. They didn't give you any kind of list like that at any point. Well, she text messaged me about maybe like a month ago with like a bunch of stuff. Um, but and, and she wanted me to do IOP, which I called. I signed up for it. I went for the intake. Be, and, and actually, Friday, she was supposed to come here and have me sign a release so she could, you know, make sure I went to IOP, you know, talk to them. And then when she came in, she said, actually, I have a court order and I'm taking Jace. Wow. Did okay. she still have you sign the paperwork for that IOP program or no? Uh, she she w didn't do anything else with me because I, I, I was very, very angry. And I think she was a little scared, honestly. Oh, wow. I see. Yeah, she, she tried going back in Jace's room. And I said, oh, no, you stay right the F here. Don't you go anywhere else in my house. Like, like, I'm sorry. I was just really angry and caught off guard. And Jace was crying. And it was just frantic, you know? I am so sorry. Is Jace okay right now? Yeah, I, I talked to him. Um, I talked to him when we got home. Wait, can, can you guys stay on and I'll get right back on? The new CYF lady's calling my other phone. Okay, we'll be online. Sure. Yeah, we'll yeah, wait please, for you. Yeah, please be on. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait for you, sweetie. Wow. Um, Scammy okay. Claus is here. Hi, Scammy Claus. Hi, Scammy. Hey. That was unexpected. Mm-hmm. Wow. She's going to be back, though, so. She will, but, you know, oh. we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Thank wow. you, lovely lady. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to turn the comments off. <laughs> well, you know, she's been communicating with me over the past few days, um, and I've been, you know, being respectful with her. I'm not enabling her by any means, um, but I've been respectful with our communications. Yes, absolutely. You've been very respectful. So I don't know. What do you think, Scammy? My honest opinion? Yes. I think she knows what she needs to do, but she doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, from the outside looking in, we all know what she has to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've seen... We've seen the apartment. We've seen yeah. the behavior. Um, you know, probably having a um, a uh, uh, defensive um, a defensive uh, uh, interaction with the person that went in Friday didn't help her case. All right. Um, you know, I'll tell you the thing that 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 really tugged at my heartstrings. I was looking at some old pictures of her and um, her former husband or boyfriend, and they um, looked like the typical American couple, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. I mean, handsome guy, pretty girl. You know, starting a family and it, it, yeah, and, I, I, and I wanted to ask her about. Um, oh, sorry, some people were saying they can't see well. I wanted her to ask about whether they did give her any kind of um, 
stipulations for visitation or anything like that but i didn't get a chance to ask that before she left um because i thought they would it at an initial i could be wrong but i would think at an initial hearing like this they would set up some kind of schedule so she at least had some um some visitation set up or something but i don't know i could be wrong mm -hmm. i mean i i don't know you know i i, I don't know anything about this but I would think that at that initial hearing, they would give her a list of things that criteria she has to meet before Jace comes back to her. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I wouldn't think that they would just send her on her way without anything. Right. So I think it's really important to for Lisa to have uh, dual diagnosis treatment and parenting classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parenting classes are going to be really important in this scenario. I think those can only be helpful. Yeah, I think pretty much almost everyone has to go through that in Pennsylvania um, in this type of situation with the removal that they yeah. have to go through parenting classes. So I think that's pretty standard. Okay, good. I, I wasn't aware. Um, I know that it's that way here, that if you even get a divorce at all, um, that you have to do parenting classes. Both people do. And I think that's an awesome rule. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she, she is going to be back in a few minutes. She's just having a phone call with one of her workers. And then she's going to be back. Yeah, that's what she said. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think we all see Lisa doing badly and we want her to do better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's with any, any of these people. <laughs> any of these people on TikTok that are in similar circumstances like that. You know, right. we don't we don't want to see nobody. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, somebody in chat or whatever. We don't want to see these people fail. It, it's frustrating as hell to watch and see somebody who could you know, really, really, you know, uh, turn their life around. I mean, like, L Lisa is very young still, you know? Um, mm -hmm. You know, she has, sounds like she has a pretty decent support system if she makes changes in her life. Oh, I agree completely. You know, and it's just, it's getting, it's, getting to that point though which seems to be what the issue's been you know this whole time and uh you know i hope she can get there i hope she can because you know this is never a good situation yeah no it's not it is terrible and tattoos and cadillacs brings up a good point that she her family has used her for entertainment and I can't confirm that but I can say that I've seen some things that make me wonder um, not from Jess by any means um, <clears throat> I know that everyone just wants her to get clean yeah absolutely and um, I mean I, I think she's being um, I think she's being truthful about what happened this morning um, hopefully she is um, you know, I did find it a little disturbing that when she was on early this morning, she said she would only tell people what happened in court if they send her money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she said, if people, somebody sends me $10, I'll tell you what happened with court, you know? Um, and she did the same thing to me yesterday. Oh, I'll tell you what happened last night if you send me $10. Right. But, you know, and nothing on here was, I don't know where she got information that we were on here slamming her um, because that wasn't happening whatsoever. Um, no. we, we watched her live and, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and we were discussing it. 
people were asking mm -hmm. for a recap and I was recapping what she had said and I was recapping what happened with her and I yesterday without even giving a lot of details or, or playing any of the recordings I have. So right. we about I mean, I think we're all just concerned that every donation is leading to her downfall and we're concerned that this is headed to a place that is terrifying and and we're already to a place that's terrifying but the truth is is it could get more frightening than this mm -hmm. and i mean if she comes back i'm gonna let her know like we weren't bashing her but yeah we are not in support of people who are enabling her we're not mm -hmm. going to um you know, we're not going to enable her and um, we're not, you know, we're not encouraging people to enable her whatsoever. We are going to say, like, please don't send cash. Please don't send gifts. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we're not in favor of any of that. So no. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, you know, try to deceive her into thinking that we support her or support that enabling stuff in any way. Exactly. I yeah, mean, I got cigarettes. I don't know. You know, it's just a very sad situation, and we're handling it delicately with respect. Um, when Lisa comes back, please, no one bash her in the comments. I know that everyone has their feelings, and you're definitely entitled to them. Um, but when she's here, we want to make her feel welcome and give her respect. And I just hope she doesn't go live and then try to, you know, um, say something different happened here. Right. Because we've seen that happen. But yeah. I know I have the recording of this live um, that I can put out there to show that we weren't um, slamming her in any way. No. Anything like that. So that's, that's kind of the risk you take. Um, when you end up speaking with one of the scammers directly is they sometimes will, um, you know, twist things around and, uh, and stuff. So I yeah. hope that doesn't happen. Me too. Um, cause in no way was that being done. Um, no way at all. No. Nope. In fact, someone was being rude in the comments and I did mute them. Yeah. They actually messaged me. <laughs> did they? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, you can't come here and be rude. You're allowed to have your feelings, but we're not going to allow Lisa to be bashed in our comments. Oh, that's just somebody that's mad about Reddit. Oh, okay. <laughs> should I, should I unmute them or not? I mean, you can, but they said, they told me they don't care. Oh, okay. Well, then forget it. They're mad, yeah, because, they're mad because there's another snark page. Well, you know, that's not they, something they to accuse me here. of creating it, which I didn't, I, but I am a mod on it. So they're upset about that. But that's okay. fine. It's, it's, yeah. it's Reddit silly stuff to me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> but they shouldn't bring that here while we have Lisa in the box talking. They shouldn't bring it here at all. Right. Yeah. That wasn't the appropriate time. They could message me if they have an issue with something on Reddit and they did, but yeah, they brought it on here too. Right. So, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to sit on here all afternoon waiting for Lisa to come back. I'm not going to allow that to control my day. Um, right. <laughs> I mean, right. you know, and I will tell you that, yes, there is a, a new snark page that you can join or not join. It's up to you. I will show it to you. Um, and um, I'm a mod on that page and it's new and uh, join or don't join. You know, um, I guess some people that were on um, the other Reddit page um, felt like they were getting the comments were getting deleted or different things. Um, I was actually um, banned from the page yesterday for no reason. They said I spread misinformation, which I didn't. 
Mm-hmm. And, uh, but then they then they then they unblock me. But now I don't know. Maybe I'm blocked again because someone got upset. I don't know because I'm a mod on this other page. So it's it's weird Reddit. That's a lot of drama. It yeah. sounds like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Hi, yeah, Donna. It's about yeah, Clorox, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's not online. Okay. So no, I mean you can you can join, not join. You know, it's up to you. It's your choice. Um, you know, your choice. I'm not telling anybody to do anything, um, or anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. It's up to you. Um, Lisa did show up, but she says it was postponed. Mm-hmm. Um. So, um, because she didn't have an attorney and, um, so apparently now she's saying she does have a public defender, um, and they will reschedule court and, um, it'll be in about a month. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't, Mm -hmm. I don't know if all of that, you know, is true, but that's what she said. Yeah, it was a hearing. Um, she was getting ready to give a little bit more details, but then she said she had to go because the CYF person was calling again. Not sure if that's true or not. We're just, uh, we're just restating what Lisa said. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And Thank you. You have, you, Juliana. With, you have to take that with a gram with a grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all. And we weren't on, she got originally got on here and sounded a little upset because she thought we were um, slamming her or bashing her. And that's not what was happening. We literally just watched her live and then people were asking for a recap because um, they didn't see the beginning of it. Um, She did admit that in this live um, main girl, but she has before in the past. Tattoos. I said a grain of salt. I didn't say a grain of salt. (laughs) Misinformation. (laughs) Yeah, I didn't say that part. Um, Yeah, she did seem more calm than earlier. Um, But yeah, I mean, I did get a message from her this morning asking for $10 for cigarettes and court. I guess she was referring to parking at court. Um, so it does sound like, does sound like they went downtown and again, I've, you know, she said they went in and it was postponed because she didn't have an attorney. I've heard other stories where she went downtown, but she didn't actually go inside. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I can show you the recording from this morning. I was actually just watching it. There was a funny part of it a little bit. Um, again, like we're not here to bash or anything, but you know how she calls, um, um uh what is it? she calls her paypal pp mm-hmm. but she said um she said she said um apparently her paypal was negative so she said but now it's not in the negative anymore because somebody sent her money so she said my pp is not in the hole anymore so that was kind of <laughs> it was just kind of a funny thing to say <laughs> <laughs> This was from this morning. Um, let me see if I have it I turned did. up. I did. I did. I was down there. <sighs> That's not true. Nobody went to the courthouse and I didn't go. I We were there. Me and Abby went. My dad took me. <sighs> I got to walk down and get smoked. <laughs> Make sure this is the beginning. Me yeah. and Abby. Me and Abby. <sighs> You're not at my hearing. We already did it. We already did it. Abby, will you verify that I did go down to court? Well, I mean, this is her video. Please. Mm -hmm. They're saying that I stayed home and I didn't even get on to court. Can you scream it? Can you just scream it? Or open my door and, and say it, please. See, she said, she said, shut up. She said we went down, but it wasn't for long. 
So, if anybody heard her... I thought you so, said Abby was um, there. Yeah. yeah so, like I, I said... Abby um, with her love dog. Abby no, is her other daughter. No, she did Oh, my God. One of them. You guys just can't stop, can you? No, everything is not okay. If anybody can help, my CA is um, Lisa Jace XOX. My chime is L I S A 143 XO. And the PP is um, Lisa Richard 656. And my, and my PP isn't in the hole anymore. There you go. Mm -hmm. My PP isn't in the hole anymore. It isn't in the hole anymore. <laughs> No, I this need, is from I this morning. Jay's is okay. I need to go down and get smokes, and I need to pay this guy back for the parking because nobody would answer me, and nobody would answer me. Pay this guy back for the parking? Don't Ooh. ever say I don't care about my son, ever. That, ever. that was weird, too. Ever say I don't care about my son. Really? There's no parking fee downtown? Downtown, there's no parking fees. Uh, sir, you're obviously not from Pittsburgh, so thank you, Colette. There definitely is parking fees downtown. Definitely parking fees. That is true. <clears throat> She's telling the truth. I didn't have the money. Or not. I didn't have it. Well, who should borrow money you from? You do have to pay to park. Because he wanted to come in, Blue Eyed Beauty. He, he wanted to come in and be supportive. That's why Abby came oh, her with dad. me. Was because I needed support. No, the courthouse does not have free parking. Mm -mm. That's why. She's live on TikTok. No, this is from this so, morning. Like I said, if anybody please can help just so we can go get smokes. Uh, all my stuff is, is on my page all of it i'm trying miss tony but i just me and abby just want to walk down and get a pack because i didn't get to smoke one at all today i had to get up go to the clinic run right down um to the courthouse and it was just a mess it was a mess a mess so she's saying she went to court but it got postponed no i'm not eating you mean eating right now i said i already went down to court for days. I already said that. <sighs> because I didn't have any money to do it, Miss Country Girl. I didn't have any money. <sighs> like I said, CA is Lisa Jace XOX. PP is Lisa Richards 656 and Chime is LISA 143XO. I just want to get smoked. I just want to get smoked. That's all I want to get is smokes. I will tell you guys what happened at court if I can get some smokes. That's all I want. Her username was um, Loving. I just want to get some smokes. Loving Life XO, 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 Cigarettes. XO, like a bunch of XOs. Well, if that's not the way that works, then fine. Abby lives with her kind of part I time. do have to pay the guy back for part gang, but I need to walk down and get smokes. No, I'm not trying to do that. I promise I'm not. Like I said, my, my PP isn't in the hole anymore. Oh. So, um... Again... <laughs> It's, that's Lisa Richards 656 if anybody can help with that um my uh my 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 CA is Lisa J X O X and my um chime is L I S A 143 X O and it's on my page it's on my page okay um Lisa's back all right Hey, Lisa. Hey. How did your call go? 
Um, it went horrible. Oh no. Well, no. What happened? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. But I, I don't want to put it online if that's okay. No, you don't that's have fine. to. We respect that. You know what? No, fuck that. How about this? If, if I want to see Jace, I have to go to the CYF office and have somebody sitting there with me supervise. Mm. I was actually going to ask you about that. Are they going to give you visitation with him? Are they going to come up with a schedule or something? Well, that's what they're going to do. I have to go to the CYF office and have mm. somebody sit in there with me while I visit my son. That's got to be incredibly upsetting for you, Lisa. I'm so sorry that, that that's so upsetting for you. I'm sorry. You... No, I'm not smoking I look anything, okay, ma'am? I, I, I appreciate that. I just got out of the shower. Do I just slip him to the side? I'm not sure. Um, lucky lady had um, seen how to do that. Hi, Lisa. Um, it, it, it's nice to meet you. Um, nice just, to meet you. Hey, uh, just so you know, that is normal. Okay. Um, you know, under the circumstances, don't don't take it to heart too too um, too badly. That is normal until all of this gets worked out. So, um, you know, j just so you understand, it, it 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 doesn't mean anything is worse or better. It just means that this is the way that you know they're yeah. going to do this for now. So. But but nobody knows the actual truth, and I uh, nobody knows the actual truth. And she's saying that if if I said to her why why is that that I have to do that? She said um, we have to do that if somebody's in active drug use. And I said what active drug use? Like what are like. I go to the methadone clinic, okay? So, and no, nobody knows the truth. And, and, and she really, she really, oh my God. I, I, un I understand. I understand that you're very frustrated with this. So what you're, what you're saying is that if they wanted to do a rug test on you today, that there, you would show clean. Except for what you're taking from the uh, the clinic. Yeah. Here, I'll tell the truth because I'm so mad. I don't care. Here's what happened, okay? I was in group, all right? Like, it was last month, I think, okay? And I had relapsed, and I took, I did two hits of crack cocaine, okay? And I told the group about it, okay? Because I was, like, beating myself up because... I relapsed and I had been clean for so long, you know, and my counselor called and told the CYF lady that. Okay. And it it messed everything all up. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, I think that, um, you know, I, I've watched you um, for quite a while as, you know, I'm sure most of the people in here have and you know, I, I'm sure there's people that generally watch you and your lives that are in here right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, with, with the, the, the um, proceeding today with the judge, um, you know, if they didn't give you anything like a list of criteria that you have to meet um, in order to get this all behind you, you know, I, I, I'm sure you, you probably have some indications because you are an intelligent person. You know, what yes. are some things that you have to do in order to better the situation right now? Well, they're not giving them back. That's why there's no criteria. They're, they're, you know, I, I would find that hard to believe because you are his mother. But I think that based on you know, what they've heard and what they've seen, they're concerned about Jace's well-being since he's a minor. Well, listen, you can't blame anybody else for your hug use. You can't, okay? But she came and she said that they usually came, investigated, and then closed within 60 days, okay? Mm -hmm. she, she told me that this time 
they were not closing in 60 days and they were opening an investigation, okay? So I went and I relapsed. And, mm. and you know, I told my group about it and my counselor and I thought it was supposed to be private. And... But what Skimmy Claus asked was if you took a, a test today, would it show clean or no? Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually thinking they, they would test me. Hmm. Right. So, so you would absolutely test clean today? Yeah, she she said not the time she took them, but the, the day after screamed on live and cussed me out, she came the next day. And she said to me that she wasn't concerned with hug use and she wasn't concerned with what, what else? She said something else. Oh, the people calling online. She said, she said, you just got a whole hug and alcohol evaluation last Friday and you tested clean. She said, I'm not concerned with that. So, uh, so all because of two, two hits. <sighs> you know, those two hits it's a slippery slope. You know, you can't just do two hits if you're an addict. Um, and that is an addictive hug. Um, and, and I think that, you know, they might be concerned with that. Well, I told my counselor at the clinic, I said, well, cause I, I had to go and, and tell her that they took them. And I said to her, I said, I'm just doing whatever I want to do now. Hug wise. I said, because I have no reason not to. So oh, that, that's a good so answer on that. Good answer on that. Hey, listen, Alisa, how you doing? I'm good. Did you, did you get your cigarette money? No. Okay. Um, did you make any phone calls to legal aid? No, I called the attorney number they gave me and got an attorney. So you got that, 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 did they patch you through to legal aid? Uh, no, I don't think so. You call legal. You call legal aid, and then you get. They give you a list of, of of lawyers that work with legal aid, so it's free, and um, they will assist you in that hearing. Do you want to yeah. call? Do you want Do you want? Do you have my number still, right? Yes. Are you yeah. ready? Are you ready to surrender? Or are you going to go ahead and keep go worse? You want? Is that what you're asking? Is that what your? Is that your plan now? No, I'm I'm ready, but. It, it's just Jace. Like nobody understands. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't. Listen. <laughs> you got two pat you got a fork in the road right now. You got a fork in the road. You can continue on the path that you've been on, and it's gonna be continuous and suffering and pain. Or you can go down a whole nother path that is unfamiliar to you. You ain't never been on it in a long time. And you can go down that path and have some nice stuff happen. Or continue doing this, but I can't. I'm, I, I, and I don't think it's hopeless, Lisa. I really don't. I, you know, I think that you could, you certainly uh, could get Jace back, but there are a lot of changes you would need to make and it's not going to be easy. Did they have a plan? Did, did, you're not. You're not seeing no plan. Don't sit there and tell these people that Jace isn't coming home because they're not going to. When have he ever been removed from your home before? No, never. There's no gifts. No gifts. No gifts. No gifts. No gifts. Nope. Um, so they're not. You, then it's automatic reunification. You're going to get a plan, and it's going to be the reunification plan, and it's going to tell you you got to go to some NA meetings. You got to get a sponsor. You got to get an eval. You. They might say you got to go to rehab. But it's willing on you to make the choice of doing some things different now. Right. Or continue doing the same shit that you've been doing for how long now? Well, I haven't done anything since those two. You came on after he left and asked for some cigarettes, girl. I know you needed one, but come on. Get no, I mean. Get off TikTok and make some fucking phone calls. I, I meant the hugs. I didn't do anything since those two. Okay, did you, did you, did um your the behaviors? Now it's the behaviors. What behaviors do you think you need to start changing to make some things change? Be a, different. A lot of mental health stuff. Okay. 
Well, then we need to sit. Then we're not getting that on TikTok. Are you getting that on TikTok? No. No. Is it making it worse or? Oh shit! Or is it making it better? Oh, I thought I was going for the bus. I'm it's, it's it's making it worse. Yeah. So now, so now, so what are we gonna do different? We're gonna get back up on TikTok and go live, or are we gonna get off the phone and go make some fucking phone calls? Cause I, I there'd be a bunch of people in your corner, not the one saying that you're a lost cause. Cause I think you believe that right now. Mm -hmm. I think yep. you believe that. But and you're that, not, you, Lisa. You're not a lost cause. You are not a lost cause. You could be the biggest success story on TikTok. You could do this. I I believe in you. So many people believe in you. And listen, we know that you know this could go. You know, we know you. Listen, we know you better than you know yourself right now, girl. We, yeah. We see the patterns. We, I mean, you know, what I mean, everybody sees the patterns. TikTok ain't working for you right now. You need to work it off app and get your life built back up and come back as a force, man. And listen, I sent you a message. Read it. I'd like to come up and see you and go for lunch or something. I'm not coming near that. I mean, I'll, I'll meet you somewhere. I'll, maybe I'll pick you up at the clinic. Where did you send it at? To that number that you sent me, the screenshot. The only one I have. I only have one number for you, Lisa. Well, I'm going to send you... Well, trust me, remember? I'm going to send you my new one because I'm changing it because I was so desperate for cigarettes. I put my phone number up and I'm getting harassed again, which is my own fault. It's my own fault. Yeah, don't do that again. Um, that's that's seriously not a good idea. I mean, not only does it open you up to harassment, it actually puts you in danger. And I'm so concerned because you've said your address online several times. You you know my number, right? Yeah, I have it in my phone. Yeah, yes. My actual number. Yeah, you never even got the text now number. Everybody usually gets the text now number first. Yeah, and you you have my number and. And I do want to make it clearly. So we weren't um, slamming you, bullying you, bashing you. Um, we were just no. what was happening with what you said about court. Oh and, yeah. Uh, but, I, but I, but I, but I also want to make it clear that we haven't supported um, what you've been doing either. You're like we don't support enabling, and we don't support people giving you money or gifting you. So I right. don't want to feel get it twisted that we are still not condoning anyone who does that. No, okay? not at no. all. No prayers only. You that's the only thing you need right now, girl, is prayers. Because you don't know how close you are to a zipper. That is my fear. You're the this is yeah, this is headed nowhere good. And I look, I, I could yeah, I don't know. I can't watch yeah. those days because I see so much of me. The similarities, not the differences. I don't see the differences. And I'm gonna get down now. Um didn't do this for clout. You got my number. Call me. Okay, babe. I will. Thank you, Tech. Bye, Tech. Thank you. Hey, hey Liz, can I, uh, let me say if I can one more thing, Polly, and then I, I got to head off of here. Um, sure. You know, Lisa, I see that picture that you have on your screen right now. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw that picture and my heart was sad when I saw this absolutely stunning couple beautiful I, I am so sorry that you lost him and thank you you have an amazing opportunity right now mm -hmm. to save yourself to turn your life around and can you imagine what your platform could be if you do that if right? you turn your life around and you get help and you start moving forward in your life with Jace in a positive way. Do you imagine how many people you could help out in the long run if you take this time now and do what you need to do? Yeah, you could save so many other people. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I'd love to help people that are going through some things, you know, and show them it can get better, you know? I would. And like I said, you know, you are at a fork in the road now and you have to be able to say, I am willing to go to rehab.
without any buts after it. I want to go to rehab. Yes. And I'm sure it's a scary, it's a scary thing to think about. I, I can't even imagine what you're going through with everything you're going through right now. But if you take that step towards that, you can completely turn your story around. And I hope you do that. I really hope you do that. Mm -hmm. And good luck to you, Lisa. I'm really hoping that things turn around for you. Well, I'm definitely doing IOP, which is four days a week. Definitely. I have to. So that I'm going to have to do that. So what is IOP? Intensive outpatient. You go for like the whole day and do like groups and, you know, a bunch of, you know, hug stuff, you know, teach you about it. And yeah, I think that's a great idea. To, you're going to be able to maintain that. You're, you're willing to make sure you do that and maintain that in addition to going to the clinic. You're going to be going to the clinic every day and then you're going to be going to the IOP every, four days a week, right? Guys, yeah, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. Yeah, it is. but does anybody with resources know if she can, if she can get transportation to that? I mean, I can get a free bus pass. I just my ID is expired, so they won't give it to me because my you have to show ID. Okay, but I mean, you no. discussed doing that like a while ago. So yeah, I mean, that needs to get done. Yeah, there, there are places that will um, pay for your ID uh, to be replaced. I will um, send you some messages. Um, okay, and you know exactly where they are. Okay, yeah, that would be uh, that would be great because if I could get even when I go to try to buy cigarettes, some stores have to scan your ID. So I, I can't even get them sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. That's got to be frustrating. I'm a smoker, so I totally understand. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, oh. let's let's work on getting that ID for you. First steps first, you know, we'll take care of, you know, your treatment stuff. You know, work on the things you need to work on. I will send you resources. Um, and you have our full support. I mean, I hope hey, you will you. continue to go online and, and let us know how you're doing with your with your program and everything. Um, you know, we just again, we just don't support your online asking people for for money for things and, and all of that. But we'll certainly provide resources if you need them and advice. And if you need, you know, help with like budgeting, whatever monies you're getting and mm -hmm. things like that um, to make sure that you're accomplishing what you need to accomplish. No, I, I definitely will. I, that's why, like I said, I came on today was just because um, I was getting texts and there was a lot of misinformation about court. So I just kind of wanted to tell the whole story to kind of clear it a little bit up, you know. Well, we're glad mm -hmm. you did. And mm -hmm. there's, Thanks. you know, we didn't, uh, we weren't over here slamming you or anything like that. We were listening to mm -hmm. what you were saying about court because we, did, we yes. wanted to know the truth too. Well, exactly. People message me all kind of, if, if their numbers weren't on there, you should see the messages. I'll give you $100 to go live. Another person, I'll give you 50 to go live. Why? Why? So you can laugh at me? Like, you want to pay me to laugh at me. Like, that makes no sense. No, there, that's are, there, are a lot, there are a lot of crappy people on, on TikTok. Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, but, you know... Good, Lisa, good luck. You know, one step at a time. Don't look at it like it's a huge mountain. Just, you know, get your ID, get that moving. Get your yeah. bus pass so you can make sure you can get to your meetings. And move on. And, and, and every day do something that you can to move forward to get better. Because, you know, even though there are a lot of trolls out there that, you know, go into your lives and, you know, say really horrible things, there are people on TikTok that you know don't want you to fail and i know to move forward so you exactly. yes ma'am okay, yes ma'am I'm, I'm gonna drop down good luck lisa all right you too thank you nice me. lisa i do have to admit i did chuckle a little bit when i saw you this morning and say that your pp is no longer in the hole because i took that a completely different way and it was just funny to me 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. I, I just meant my. Uh, I know they, what you meant. I know what yeah. you meant, but it just sounded funny. That's all. <laughs> they'll they'll send me money on PayPal, and then they'll file a claim saying that like I'm fraudulent and I didn't send them their items or something, so that my they're trying to get my PayPal shut down, but it'll put my PayPal in the negative, you know. So. Well, yeah, I mean, the best way to do that is to not, yeah, not accept money from strangers. I mean, because they, anybody can report anything. So, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you have to find some other um, way to, to handle your finances or something. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, if you can work or you can look at resources. I'm not sure if you, there's other ways that you can, um, you know, get funds or get other resources, but, you know, um, I know there's lots of people willing to try to help you to find ways. Yeah, I, I need, I'm, I'm going to find a job because now without Jace here and, you know, probably not getting his check anymore, I need to be able to live and um, I have to do something. I have to do something. I mean, I think if you came online and were asking, begging for people to help you find work and find resources, people would really, really help you and you would get a lot less hate. But when you come on asking for money, then that's when it, it kind of changes up there. So right. you know, um, if you were online looking for help for a job, I'm sure there's I've been lots of people that uh, can help you to do that. Absolutely. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later after I make a couple phone calls. I'll come on and ask if anybody has any leads for, you know, jobs that are hiring like ASAP, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. I think that that is a, a much better um, method for you to uh, to go, you know, to follow. I, I think people would be helpful if you were sincerely just asking for a job. Um, yeah, absolutely. So what kind of work do you think you're going to look for, Lisa? Honestly, I don't know, because with my appearance, it would have to be something behind the scenes. So a warehouse, maybe. Um, I'm not really, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. I'll have to look. There's a lot right. of things you could do. There's a lot of things you could do behind the scenes. So many things. And also, you could work from home. Um, but I know that Amazon is always hiring. I don't know if you have Amazon in your area, but I know that Amazon is always hiring. Yeah. Okay, I'll look into Amazon. Yep, absolutely. Well, you know, I, yeah. I appreciate you joining us, Lisa. I don't. I really don't want to take up a lot more of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I, I do encourage you. I still, I know it's frustrating, but I hope you do go to the scheduled visits with Jace. Um, oh, yeah. I, I'm not, yeah, I am. I'm not going to not see him. It's okay. Yeah, I think you need to do everything you can right now to uh, go to the scheduled visits and go to the IOP program, go to the clinic, go to all of those things. And yeah, it's not going to be easy, but um, these are things that um, you're going to have to do it now at this point. So, you know, I don't take up much of your time. You have a lot to do, and I hope that you can accomplish them, work toward accomplishing them. And, um, you know, I hope you don't block me. I hope you don't think I'm a bad person. Um, no, I was just looking to actually follow. I just, I'm following. Hold on, I was gonna follow paranormal. Paranormal pa- Polly. 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 Yes, we've talked before. I don't know if you remember or not. Yeah, I've I've seen you in my lives a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm already. Talked. I'm already following you, uh, Scam Slam. Okay. I have two accounts. One, it's scam. Well, I have three accounts because I need backups in case I get a ban. And I get banned for gambling on my live, which I'm not gambling like at all. So I don't know, but people report it for that. So I have like scam slam 411, 412, 413. And I go on live on whichever, you know, account that I can pretty much. I have lots well, of backups like you do. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting follow on paranormal and it's saying, Thank you. um, you requested to follow this private account and then it's it's turning red again so i'm not really oh, sure i will absolutely accept it but i'll also send you a friend request and then you yeah. can just send me back if that doesn't work um but yeah we talked um a few months back i thought we had a really good conversation um unfortunately your live was discontinued um and then we tried to move it to instagram but i have a really old phone so um you know it was you're you're getting a lot of support in the comments, Lisa. 
Yeah, I don't know. She's gone, so I don't know. I didn't drop her or anything like that. Maybe she was trying to friend you or do whatever, so. Right. Now, state IDs are not free in Pennsylvania. I wish mm -hmm. they were. They're kind of pricey, actually. And I yeah, they're I know almost going to send your resources, but I, I don't think there are resources in Pennsylvania where she can get it free. But if you find something, certainly send it to her. Um, mm. but I don't um, think yeah, well, there's free. there is a number that she can call to get help with her ID. Oh, OK. Gotcha. I already have it. I'm, I just didn't want to say it on live. Oh, OK. All mm -hmm. right. I understand. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad she um, came back. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, she's going to have she's going to have to be the one to take all these actions and you know, I uh, I hope she's successful. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I am a little concerned um mm. because um she has had expressed difficulties getting back and forth to the clinic every day. So now it's not that she's going to have to get back and forth to the clinic every day. She's going to have to find ways to get to and from her her program every day and um she's gonna have to find ways to get to the scheduled visitations with jace um so yeah uh it might be a little difficult i'm gonna see who else has a guest request um i honestly didn't want a lot of people coming in and um saying what i wasn't sure you know i wasn't sure what they were gonna say to mm -hmm. Lisa. and honestly like i don't want to be on here all day um I know this may sound insensitive, but I don't want people coming on and telling their whole life story about something to Lisa because she doesn't listen to that. Um, and that's mm -hmm. not what my content is. I didn't want people coming on and telling their whole, you know, what they did in their life. It, I mean, her situation may be different. Um, so I'll bring up one person at a time and see if they're still here and if they do want to say anything. Um, let's see. We'll see who else is here. Because people come on and say, oh, well, I had this happen. I went, had that happen. I went to rehab. I did this. I did that. But she really doesn't, it really doesn't um, seem to click with her. And so I didn't want to do that you know, on the box. Um, Stephanie, are you there? No, I'm not sure if Stephanie's there. I'm not sure she realizes she's in the box. Yeah. So I'll take her down. Oh, hi. Oh, Can you, you hear me? Talking? Yeah. Uh, I dealt with ACS before. I'm in New York. Um, I had an ACS case, you know, against me um, with my son. He wasn't going to school. I'm not going to, like, because I know you don't want to hear the whole backstory, but yeah. there was, like, a story behind it, right? And, you know, they did... I understand what she's saying they did come in my house and they looked in my refrigerator and you know i uh, honestly didn't have food in there but i was buying food every night so you know and i was able to show them my bank account or whatever you know but it was like a whole different situation you know as far as that but they give you um I don't know how to say it. it's a you know a care plan mm -hmm. right away of what you have to do right but she has to understand also you have to do all the stuff before they like demand you to do stuff and I wish you guys you know because you guys are able to you know like um to get at her or whatever um to explain to her she has to basically you know she has to put herself in rehab bottom line you know in order to get jace back and that's it, i'm not you know a professional at all but you know that's what she needs yeah, I, think, I, I, I think she knows 